assalamu alaikum very good morning to you all uh, respected chairperson professor parvin shaida uh, chairman or president of medical oncology society of bangladesh senior most radiology uh, radiotherapist or oncologist uh, professor m hai director cancer institute uh, professor ajizul islam major general ajizul islam uh, secretary of this society and uh, all other teachers and professor like professor sheikh gulam mustafa uh, professor sarwar and other dignitaries and the uh, leaders or the specialist of some of the countries like usa uh, japan singapore uh, sri lanka nepal india uh, i thank all of you as uh, because you have uh, taken a lot of trouble to come to bangladesh for long way and i hope your presence and the dissemination of your knowledge will help a lot of people of uh, or oncologists of this country i pay my deep respect at the outset of my father of the nation bangobandhu sheik mujibur rahman uh, and i pay the deep respect to bangomata sheik fazilatin nisam mujib and all the martyrs of 1975 and all the liberation war freedom fighters who sacrificed their life uh, during our liberation war i also uh, thank the indian uh, government who helped us during that uh, period and also our neighboring countries also supported us like nepal bhutan sri lanka they also supported during our liberation war including the india uh, today this summit is empowering the cancer care you all know uh, previously in our country the death rate was much more from uh, cd uh, communicable disease that is communicable disease nowadays all the patients suffer and dies from non communicable disease and cancer is one of the uh, uh, leading cause of death in our country oncologists are giving much more service but still in our country the if we want to make one specialist per lakh in oncology per 1 lakh uh, it is needed of about 1600 now it days but in our country the oncologists are very few so it should be increased one of the uh, uh, speaker that is the secretary asked me as i am one of the uh, planner or i am making the post graduate in our country in uh, through my university all the post graduate ms md m phil diploma it is being given from bangobondhu sheikh mujib medical university uh medical oncologist radiation oncologist uh every uh, in all sector there are uh, three sectors i think so radiation oncologist medical oncologist surgical oncologist this should be increased in our country and as i have the opportunity i hope uh, the department and the chairman and the divisional head of this medical oncology if they pray to us we will increase the number in future to uh, at least help the people of this country for uh, dying from cancer in our department or in uh, bangobondhu sheikh mujib medical university we have a uh, palliative department also uh, if the patient who has nothing to do uh, even by giving treatment chemotherapy radiotherapy immunotherapy hormone therapy uh, even uh, any treatment or surgically if you could not manage then uh palliative treatment is given and if uh, necessary the patients uh, uh, will be treated in their home by giving the caregiver in uh, from my university again uh, you all know our honorable prime minister sheikh hasina she has given uh, a lot of success in health sector as because our community clinic that is about 6000 population about 14000 community clinic in the rural area they are getting much more one of the example is that in our country previously there was 30000 night blind people due to malnourished and uh, lack of vitamin a we have the study that uh, per year there was 30000 after giving vitamin a capsule in epi program now the uh, number of uh, night blindness are 
decreased to one third, that is 10,000 per year. So this is one of the unique EPI program which is going on and including the vitamin A capsule. Uh, one of the, as an, uh, I am the ophthalmologist, we are also thinking of ocular oncology uh, in my department, uh, intra-arterial chemotherapy. This is not being given even today. And one of the staff of my university asked me that I want to go uh, for the treatment of my baby to the uh, India. Then I asked my uh, specialist, uh, oculoplasty surgeon, why you are not in a position to give the intra-arterial chemotherapy in this uh, uh, situation. Uh, they have not yet developed. I hope in future it will be given in my university. Uh, you all know that our Honorable Prime Minister have uh, taken the decision that in eight divisions, there will be eight centers, uh, eight hospitals, a specialist hospital, where there will be uh, one will be cardiac, one will be uh, nephrology, that is dialysis, and another part will be cancer. So I think uh, many patients will be able to be uh, uh, relieved from this type of uh, cancer in the divisional area. But the man behind the machine or the people, that is the specialist number should be increased in different parts of Bangladesh also. We hope in future, as our government is now moving fast, uh, during the corona, we have seen that our government has given free of cost 36,000 crore uh, amount for giving vaccine free of cost. Also uh, about uh, 41,000 uh, uh, was given incentive to the people and also uh, uh, in corona the management was very good. That's why uh, we are in such management position that in Southeast Asia uh, our Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina uh, became the first in Southeast Asia and fifth position in uh, whole world. Uh, you all know that in USA, uh, one of my colleagues, though he's the son of the soil, uh, he's with us. Uh, in USA, there was the death uh, in Corona was 10 lakh. And in Bangladesh, it was 30,000, though according to population, it would be 60,000. So the management was very good here. That's why uh, I think management in every sector, including uh, in uh, oncology sector, if we come forward, if we increase the number of specialists and also if we have the uh, uh, united effort, I think we will be able to be successful one. I uh, wish the success of this uh, summit, Dhaka Cancer Summit 2023. And I also believe that for every mountain there is a miracle, which was uh, told by Robert uh, Schaller. I hope with this conference, there will be the dissemination of our knowledge and we will be able to be succe successful by giving knowledge from abroad, knowledge from the seniors, and you will be able to treat the patients who, who are suffering for a long period. Uh, with these few words, I am very happy as you have invited me as the chief guest. Uh, I hope in, I was in the last summit also, and in future, if you invite me, and if you have uh, uh, any time you call me to help in any sector, I will be with you with these few words. Thank you very much for patience sharing. Joy Bangla, Joy Bangabundhu, long live Bangladesh.